and Barbara, beautiful Barbara Palvin, have just been um, filming a really cool like hair colour video. I hope you can see colours in my hair. We've been pretending to be mermaids. So we've just been filming that, which is really good fun. And now we're lunchtime. I've got my food, I've got my calamari. And I got my girls with me. Still need to shampoo my hair. Get out of there. I actually really like it. I love my hair. But yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this soon. And then it'll be time to get ready for the red carpet. Hell yes, look at this. I think this is like a, almost like a banana in a colada. So yeah. Yes, yes, yes to the room and this is absolutely beautiful. So I stayed in this hotel last year with L'Oreal and let's just say it wasn't like this. It was much more old fashioned and it's completely refurbished. I mean, how beautiful is this now? So lovely, I've got my dress for tomorrow. And yeah, everything's just really lovely and nice. So I'm gonna wash this out now and I'm gonna have to just get ready. I've got two and a half hours to get ready for the red carpet. Light tissue, I don't have any shampoo. <laughs> Luckily, I got brought some products, amazingly. Um, the low shampoo, which is now in the shower, which I've just used, but they've also brought me a face mask, if you want to use face mask, they brought me two of my new favorite, favorite tan. I don't know if you've just seen my recent Instagram, but oh my goodness, this tan is incredible. So I've got two of those. You even bought me, what is this? Oh my gosh, instantly print two by three photos from your smartphone. Oh my God, awesome. I didn't even realize what that was. Superstar mascara. This is so beautiful actually, this cleanser. I've got the 640 matte lipstick. It looks like, that's gorgeous. It's almost like a taupey rose. A new botanicals. Coriander <laughs> shampoo and what else? Strength potion. This little bag and inside this bag was a limited edition. This is velvet, limited edition. 20 years, 20 years at can. Written on it, gorgeous. Oh, and a glam beige. This is so good, guys. It's an incredible, dewy, but also medium coverage foundation. So good. Hair and makeup are done. I've gone for this extremely sleek ponytail. I had a stylist come in and do my hair for me, which is really nice, and he made it so sleek. And um, there's so much hairspray on this, it's like almost like stuck to my head. But look at my dress. I'm obsessed with this dress. It's so beautiful. So I got this from Louisa Via Roma. It's a Maria Lucia Hohen dress. She makes the most amazing gowns. And I saw this one and thought, I've never ever worn this colour. So let's go for it. I wish it was like a full length mirror. I really need a full length mirror to show you. Let's see if there is one anywhere. Oh, here there is. Yay. Look. So pretty. I'm just gonna have to like hold, <laughs> hold this as I'm walking. So nice. I love it. Look how pretty it is. Yeah. The only issue is that I've got a massive tag that I've not taken out yet. I need to cut out when I have no scissors. Okay, Already hello. around the pool, look how beautiful coach looks. No! It's gorgeous. <laughs> We're already in our dresses and everyone's getting their pictures taken. We're all just waiting for our car over to the festival. It is very, very bright. On our way to the festival. Look how beautiful everyone looks. <laughs> Go, she said baby blues. Fashion we shower again. This beautiful. Oh it's almost like a cherry red, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And Emily looks so pretty <laughs> with pastel pink. Love it. And I'm in. Bright gold. <laughs> okay, back from the madness of the film festival and into dress number two. I absolutely adore this dress. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a little Dolce & Gabbana number from my Teresa. I'll leave it obviously linked down below with every other dress that you see in this vlog. I'm gonna go for a classic red lip with my cherry, Mac cherry lip liner. A little bit more bronzer because you can never have too much bronzer if you ask me. Head down, we're gonna go for a little bit of dinner. Isn't this pretty? I love it. 
love it so much. So cute, I'm just wearing my Dior heels, a red lip, and I have a Dolce and Gabbana clutch. Oh, that is definitely not fitting in the bag. Uh, better? Oh. Ah, perfect. So I then take this camera in my tiny little bag. So I'm gonna leave this at home and everything else is now gonna be filmed on my mobile. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just finished up a really, really good meal. Fusion and tonics with my girls. Here we go. Honestly, this must be like the most amazing party venue I've ever been to. So, pretty much where I was earlier when I was doing my video shoot with Barbara. So, we're on this pontoon with the Martinez just there. And the party is just all inside of here. It's awesome. So, Emily's just having a few pictures taken. I just had some pictures taken. It's amazing! <laughs> and sprayed up my hair was last night I had to wash it and now it's like I've not got any of my products with me I've not got my volumizing products I've not got my oils to put in my hair so it just feels horrible now and it's just really fluffy anyway um food has arrived I'm so tired I wish I'd stayed in bed longer after that early morning yesterday and kind of like a late night I was trying to work last night when I got in about half twelve and my eyes were just gone. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to go to bed. Got some grapefruit juice. Look at that. And some granola. Granola Victoria, apparently. Quickly got myself up and ready. I've not really done anything with my hair because I figured I'd be getting it done later. So I'm leaving it big and fluffy and feeling horrible um i've just literally put up my first vlog my first vlog so this is probably gonna be like my third or fourth vlog by now but i really hope you're enjoying them guys anyway now it's time to meet the girlies and go for some lunch ah, just finished up a delicious lunch with the most beautiful view check out how beautiful that view is so nice Delicious, delicious lunch. So now we're on our way back to the Martinez. I have a hair appointment in half an hour. Um, and then we have to get ready. I say we, me and Marcus. Marcus has a lovely suit to wear. I'm for. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we need to get ready for that. And then lots and lots of makeup. And then my beautiful dress. So the hairdresser's just left. I've just had to push it back because I can't find a clip. So I can do my makeup. So this is probably going to ruin my hair. Makeup on, I'm quite liking it. I've just gone for a very like gold and a little bit kind of rougey, um, shimmery eye. I use my fave, my Tartus Pro. I love it so much. The gold and the more cranberry tone glitters. Put that on and just a little bit through the crease and then a new lip as always, you know me. So this is my hair. And I mean, it's not too bad. I've just clipped up the side bits. I feel it looks better with that clipped up, but um, and a little bit like un, unperfect, but we'll see. I'm now gonna put on my dress. This dress is everything. It's amazing. It's so long though. It's so, it's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna show you in the mirror. It's literally like a princess dress. I got this from net porte I'll leave a link down below to where the dress is from. I'm ready, I'm about to go, and I figured I'm gonna leave my camera at home because I'm not allowed cameras in there. Off we go. On our way. We've got our own little special car. Me and Marcus. Our own car. Look how smart Marcus looks in his Dolce & Gabbana. With the seat belt nicely. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's in Antibes, in South France. Antibes. Antibes. It's in Antibes. So that's where we're going to. Very exciting indeed. Look at this boat. How ridiculous is that? What even is that boat? 
taking off all of my makeup put on a lovely new set of skincare products and yeah it's been amazing like such an honor to go to Amphar it was such an incredible event my phone died like halfway through the night and literally the event went on for so long like Nicki Minaj played Diana Ross I didn't manage to get really any of Diana Ross because my phone died Diana Ross is a full fashion show with like 30 different models, all looked absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, so it was just like an insane night, like insane. But back to my room, and the one thing that's upset me a bit is that the cleaner's been in my room and thrown away the bag and the hanger for my dress. Like I hadn't even just left it on the floor like as if it was rubbish, I'd literally put the hanger back inside the bag and hung it off the top of the shelf. So it was ready for me to put my dress back into so I couldn't transport it home again. Like, I don't understand why a cleaner would throw away a branded plastic bag with a coat hanger in it that was hung up. Like it blatantly, I'm wearing the dress. Anyway, I'm just going to go to bed. I will see you in a few hours. Hi guys! Next day I've completely forgotten to vlog anything for the past few hours. We've checked out the hotel, I had the issue with my bag, it didn't turn up, I couldn't find the bag for the dress. But now we're in Starbucks. Thanks a lot! Get some coffee, not coffee in a few days. I'm gonna get a quick coffee, um, get back on to the flight. So for me and Marcus and the L'Oreal girls heading back now. Um, looking forward to seeing my Alex. And then tomorrow is a big party so so excited. But I thought because I'd got in so late last night and we had the bag drama, I didn't really tell you much about the night and how great it was. So I thought I'd um, ask Marcus what his opinion was too. Of last night? Yeah, what was your favourite part of last night? My favourite part of last night was Diana Ross just smashed it. Oh yeah, she Diana Ross. smashed it. I didn't really get that on the vlog, apart from the bit that you, the, the that vlog you got. The vlog from my phone, that yeah. clip. Yeah. Let's see. Can you do a little yeah. copyright Marcus from, Butler? Yeah, Marcus Butler. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. What was your favourite part of the night? Yeah, Danny Ross was great. I, I quite like Nikki because that was quite cool. Mm -hmm. I also like the Will Smith bit. Oh yeah, Will Smith just took over the stage. He came on in a big character and just honestly yeah. owned the stage. The yeah. auctioneer was just like, didn't want to do it. Yeah, it was like, I'm just going to like quit now. <laughs> it was so good, wasn't it? But there's so many people like Uma Thurman. Is it Christopher Waltz or Christoph Waltz? Christopher Waltz, then. Je Jessica Chastain, Will Smith, Chris Tucker, Nicole Kidman. All on the stage, Nicole Kidman. Amazing. Bella. Old Bella was there, loads of models. I didn't get any of that on footage. It was great, wasn't it? It was an amazing night. Really good. A little change of scenery. We're in Central right now. We have some birthday present things to pick up, currently on for tomorrow. We need to get some photos printed. And so we've got them this like lovely like picture frame and we're putting those pictures of them in it. It's like a special gift. It's not been the easiest thing to do though, is it? No, it's been a bit of a mish. So we just did that and now we're in Central. Wandering around, we're about to go for some pizza at Zizi's. We've got a little seat outside, it's beautiful today. It's beautiful London 
weather. It's insane. We're just at the ZZ that's just behind Selfridges. So we're coming here to have some pizza, but we're probably going to have pasta instead. What are you going to have, baby? Pizza. I'm going to have pizza. You have pizza? I might have pizza. Can I have pizza? I don't understand why people come to pizza places. They don't want to pizza. I really like pasta. You go to a pasta place? There are no pasta places. Do you know when Pizza Hut turned to pasta hot? Oh, that, well, for like a week. That was ridiculous. Ravioli, as always. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, my God. That brownie was delicious. And now it's time to go and run it off a little bit. Well, cross trainer it off. I'm gonna go do some cross trainer and some leg weights probably, maybe some squats and lunges, things like that. Because I've not been to the gym in two days, so I fancy getting on that. So it's, I mean, it's only nine o'clock. So I'm gonna go do the last hour of the gym. The gym is over with. It is so hot. It is so hot in here. We can't open the windows because we are on like a main road super loud and noisy so there's absolutely no way plus they don't really open very well so we've got a fan in the room we've got the back door open we're absolutely boiling Alex is completely naked <laughs> um, yeah but I had a good gym session um, it's been tidying up packing my bag packing oh my gosh my jumpsuit for tomorrow I'm so in love with it's from Ted Baker it's stunning really excited to wear that I've just been packaging up all of Leon and Carly's presents for their birthday I still have this to deal with my bikini collection I, uh, I oh and a wrapper I got it out of my drawer because it was like overflowing and I was getting really sick and not being able to close my drawer so I pulled it all out and I haven't gone through it yet so and you left it all on the floor so I'm gonna get a shower and off to bed I go